my kids. Hi, folks. How's it going? I am your large-breasted guest, um, Angry Crow Ben. Um, I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna need a little help from anyone who's experienced today. Um, I don't. I, I'm listening to myself on stream. That's only kind of annoying. Dope. Let me uh, kill Audacity. I wish I could do a whole session on Audacity. I just want to kind of plan it out a bit. Um, so Jake and I have been talking about like what to do. A lot of people like you know want to start out with what. I don't know, audio of some sort. Um, is this a new project, a new track? I, you know, went through, I wanted to do, like, um, I think LLMV or something like that. LL, LLMS or LMMS, uh, this program. <clears throat> Which is like, this is like the free version of FL. If we have any FL users, let me know, and I will talk trash to you. Um, but it's you know it's kind of like it's it's a poor man's FL. It's pretty reasonable, actually. Um, a good tool that we can definitely break into if you're interested in that workflow. It's not that bad. Um, there is a song editor, baseline editor, an FX you know like a mixer. All of this is very very similar to FL. I actually, but I'm going to switch to something that's a little bit more like it's actually a lot like Cubase when I was looking at it earlier today in preparation um, for today's thing. Wow, I look, I look crazy. Because I am crazy. About Reaper. Reaper is this kind of like unlimited evaluate. Reaper is the, the WinRAR of digital audio workstations. Um, and by that I mean there is quite a lot to do. Um, it's pretty full featured especially when it comes to things like routing and um, other audio type controls. So we're just going to kind of run with it. I've never seen this before. And so to that end, I might need a little help, but hopefully I can help out any of you who are interested in starting with music. We ha oh, by the way, hey, a can e candy e, e candy. <laughs> I don't know. Um, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to a little help. I've already kind of done my introduction, but I'm, I'm more than happy to see you guys in the chat. Hopefully you had a minute to warm up, you know, listening to this weird beat that I did not make in Reaper. But um, come, let's see, about 5 p.m. We're going to do another sprint, and I'm going to try and take the information that I learned um, from getting this program going to make a beat in an hour. Um, and hopefully you guys also have things as well to contribute. Um, I have on Dropbox, if you're a Windows user, uh, let me go over into this other screen. If you're a Windows user, I have on Dropbox a public folder um, that has a bunch of VSTs that I'm going to be trying to get to work. <laughs> I don't know how, much of them, how many of them work. Um, but let me make a link really quick. Uh, let's see. People with the link can view. Let me just make a couple of quick edits. Because I want to share this folder in chat. Uh, somewhere. I want to share my folder. Copy that link. So check out chat for a link to this Dropbox download. Um, which has a bunch of synthesizers that um, I've kind of picked up when I was very, very Windows focused. Um, Triangle One is quite good. All of the tweak bench, tweak bench stuff, if you're into chip sounds, very good. Uh, Modern Utilities, and then I kind of have like the, you know, a couple of, a couple of different, uh, hopefully, do I have like Crystal in here? But, you know, yeah, I did crystal.dll. And Deep Blue Glitch, oh my god! That is an ancient VST. That is quite useful. We're going to get a lot out of that. So I guess in order to really make use of this, I have a directory on this computer on D drive called VST, and that has these things in it. And I want Reaper 
to go and work. <laughs> I want Reaper to, to recognize that folder. Um, so I guess the first thing I need to do is find the preferences, which I believe is in, is either in actions or in options. Here we go. Control P. All right. And for plugins, VST, I want to change uh, where my VST folder is. As you can see, there's like a list of, oh, VST plugins, VST plugins, VST plugins. Um, get VST names and types when scanning. Um, I don't know, in terms of compatibility, if it goes up to like 3.0, um, which includes things like per note um, modulation and like kind of deeper controls. Uh, default DST generic UI instead of plugin UI. Uh, I want the knob mode to be linear um, because there really shouldn't be any like rotating um, of knobs <laughs> in software. That's pretty stupid. Um, let me get chat back up so I can see y'all. We're still live. There's still people here. Um, the, the Grain Reaper. Um, if you're on our Discord, check out our panels. Um, you know, support, support our dudes. Support Zero Transform. I'm going to add the VST folder that I created, um, to the list of folders that, boom need to be scanned. I want to rescan those VST folders. So it's going to go through and be like, oh, here you have Tweakbench and you have all of this stuff. And so that's a really good start. Um, Cairo, Carillion, Dropout, Field. Um, Tweakbench is probably my favorite cheap set of VSTs. I think you can license the whole thing for like five bucks for the dudes giving it away. Um, piece by piece. Also. Any Togo audio line stuff, um, if you look at uh, TAL generator, Google that. That will that'll blow your mind in terms of <clears throat> soft sense that you need. Uh, let me actually Google that real quick. And pop a link. Gary and installing Reaper. Oh, man. Do it. Install that. Go, uh, it's tal-software.com. Um, Reaper is tiny. Um, it's going to take us a second to scan this VST folder because it's actually kind of big. Um, but we're already in the modern utilities folder. Uh, Crystal, Debugic, Synth1, Sintar, Super Spook Keys is a really good theremin sound. Um, let's see, string thing is like a bad Mellotron. <laughs> um, what else do I have coming through here? PM4, NK101, Carnage. Do I have Rough Rider as a compressor as well? It's pretty good. Um, which we can find here. Rough Rider, Free VST, uh, Audio Damage. Their sh their stuff is pretty slick as well. Fuzz Plus and Rough Rider Compressor. Good God. I think I might download Rough Rider Compressor just to have it. Um, <clears throat> I haven't seen it come up in the VST scan. But in terms of, you know, Windows is an amazing platform for making, like, pretty high-quality audio on the cheap. like. I got so many tracks under my belt from like just eking out enough cash for live and just have just to have like a good VST host. Uh Garyan says he recently learned that I can import MIDI into Buzz, so I'd love to get good at MIDI. Um that's actually something that I'm trying to help uh some people out here with as well in terms of just like having a MIDI controller. Maybe I'll um plug in one that I have. Let me get up for just a second. Yeah, um it's the one with uh it's the white one. It's in a. It's gonna be in a record crate underneath my. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. So yeah, we can definitely mess around with MIDI. I want to see if I can get that to work. It looks like that scan VST thing worked pretty well, so I'm gonna buy. Okay. Um, and I think I can right click and I can insert a new virtual instrument on a new track, right? 
Um, I can also, I believe, add track effect. So here are all of my plugins, Reaper re Rewire. Here are my VSTs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They have some Java, it looks like JS expansions for Reaper. It is pretty badass, um, all in all. But we'll figure out my MIDI controller thing in just a second as I, as I move all of these other remote controls around. Yes. Um, but yeah, I need a thing to make MIDIs that isn't the FL demo. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, based on what I've seen so far, if you're going to try and make, like, GM stuff, um, like, I just picked up, like, one of these things, like, when I was in Texas. Um, it's an Arturia, uh, I think it's a Keylab Mini, or a Mini, a Mini Lab, and it comes with, a it comes with a pretty good, like, pretty good software. I think let's pick up, like, let's see, do they have, like, the Tweak Bench? Uh, like, oh, here we go. So TV, like, Peach is really good. Cairo, Malcolm, Side Slip, Yoink. Some of these are just effects. I'm trying to find, this is kind of the thing, it's like I'm looking for instruments, right? So I have a little bit of a filter. I can actually probably also search for TV and that'll give me all of those guys. Um, they don't all work, it seems like, but I believe, like, I really want mono. Um, Cairo makes some interesting noises. Uh, putting side slip, yoink, mashup. I think this might be, Nope. This is an effect. It's actually not. Okay. Get your bus power on, yo. BST, let's add another thing. Here, FX change. Yo. Um. Oh, here we go. Dropout Field Minerva Padawan. Let's grab that cat. Yeah. And I plugged in my MIDI controller, and right now it doesn't seem to be working. But Padawan is a cool, like, uh, wavetable <clears throat> synthesizer with a couple of targets for modulation and built-in effects. Um, this is neat, but I really don't need it in this chain. So this is how you change the inputs and the effects chains for um, for this for this dude. I can remove effects or VSTs uh, from that channel by by monitoring like the if I click on the little FX button over here uh, this guy right so I can add effects to the track um, but you want basically a program that you can that's it's a VST host like as a baseline especially especially on Windows because that really opens up, like, oh my goodness, can I add, for example, where's my FX button? FX enabled. Show the FX track window, which is this guy. Um, and I want to choose, like, oh, I don't have Rough Rider installed yet. Oh, actually, that's a good thing to cover really quickly. So, oftentimes when you are on like KVR audio or something like that, like one of these forums or like, you know, the best free VSTs of 2015, you're going to come across basically a DLLs, right? So here's the audio diameter Rough Rider installer. Boo. We're going to run it. Uh, run. Oh, do it. I'm like, I don't even know where the damn thing is. I should have extracted it. Doesn't matter. This is a computer, we can do multiple things. FX track one, add FX track one. I don't really need any of that stuff right now. I need to figure out how to arm my MIDI interface. I don't think I have yet. Lots of options. Ooh, themes. Ooh, default 4.0. Wow, it looks the same. Okay, um, preferences. So let's have a look at, we've gone through our VST settings. Um, compatibility, just real quickly. Uh, bridging firewall, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disable saving, terminate Reaper if a plugin corrupts a process heap. 
that's kind of helpful for protecting your project. So I'm going to enable that <laughs> and apply. Um, so MIDI devices. I have Arturia Mini Lab. It is disabled at the moment. That's not good. So how do I enable this thing? I want to enable the input for this device. Um, and I want Reaper to figure out the timing for this event. Um, cool. Time side precision. Okay, so I don't need MIDI feedback um, necessarily. Um, but I, I'm seeing something in the user interface that might actually be useful. Oh, by the way, I saw this feature earlier. You can write um, control scripts. Um, so if you have something like a Guitar Hero, um, like drums, or if you have like, like Rock Band drums or guitar, any human interface device. So like uh, game controllers or like a flight stick, like you can make all of that crap into MIDI controllers using this, like, and that's a great thing to have built in. Um, it's, it's really, really, really impressive, the amount of stuff that comes with this program. Um, for the low, low cost of nothing, sort of, kind of. Um, but I think it's only like 80 bucks. It's less than 100 bucks to... Let's see, let's look at my I.O. Because right now I'm like pressing, you know, keys here on this thing. But I'm not actually getting any feedback. I hit space to play and pause. Here's my marker. I guess we'll take a, take a second and kind of just look at this interface and see what we're dealing with. So I can scroll by clicking this top area. The hand shows up. I can set my marker by clicking in the time zone. If I hit space, that happens. It looks like I have what's like a loop region or a selected area by clicking in this field here. I can probably set that to loop, um, which is going to be useful. Um, you can see that there's time scaled um, across measures. So measure one, beat one, zero, zero. Um, we can also change that view most likely here um, if you wanted to see the time of the track. So instead of showing. Uh, let's see, play rate, jump to marker, oh, that's convenient, transport, well, I'm looking for something that actually will give me a sense of whether or not, like, the MIDI is, I continue scrolling is neat, but that's not what I want, I'm trying to find something that, yeah, so it's using the ruler time unit. I can set it to measures and beats, minutes and seconds. We get both, right? Starting at one second into this thing, right? And going through, showing me each beat. It looks like we're default at 120 BPM. You can change that here by tapping and see the whole project scale. I can also change the time signature. You could just type one in if I wanted to do like 7 over 8, right? So now I have seven eighth notes, make a measure. Uh, four, four is common time. Or, you know, it's the same as two, two. You can change the actual playback rate so we can make it, you know, ridiculous. Um, obviously, you can type in a lot of these things. Like, Reaper does a lot of UI stuff right. The scale is a little bit wanky, but hey, that's just me. If I hit the record button, it plays, but it appears that I have an audio track, right? So that could be one of the issues. It recorded a file. I just want to delete that file because I recorded nothing. Um, and what I really want is a MIDI track. Huh. Oh, OK. Right here. Now this is looks like it's control surfaces for like consoles, right? Like the first thing that I saw in here was like a Mac D universal controller. And so anything that like accepts MIDI messages back from your DAW to like drive motorized faders or like light up or whatever, um, you can change some controllers that has it looks like surface settings to drive the DAW using your controller. Um, which is not precisely what I'm looking for. I will, however, this is dope, I will add Audacity. So anything that is a dot wave, um, 
leave blank to set the default extension. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Anyway, I'm gonna set my primary editor to where did I install this thing? Uh, program files, Audacity. Yeah, my favorite wave editor ever is Audacity. <clears throat> so we're gonna use that. But I'm really more curious about. I think I need to make a specific type of track or something like that. Because when I hit record, that was clearly making a audio track. Um, now, if I inserted a new track, I don't really have a lot of options. I don't have templates, which is good. We can actually do something with templates, I'm sure, soon. Uh, MIDI track controls. Show MIDI track control panel. Okay. DST, real control. We have preset. Um, it looks like I can do... This is general MIDI type of controls. So transposition, snapping to scale, like MIDI effects. Um, show log. Oh, this is what I was looking for. But that would mean that this track is not armed. But I don't know whether it would be a MIDI track or an audio track. I'm kind of... I'm kind of not convinced. MIDI track... is like, is it both? Does anyone in chat know? Is that like a thing? Does Reaper have both MIDI and audio track? You tell me. <laughs> and I'll be looking for it. Uh, let's see. MIDI input... MIDI input bus 1. Okay. And then I have some kind of user interface adjustment. TMAD40 also doesn't know. I, you know, that's, I guess, the downside of having such, um, that's all right. We're going to find it together. Garion also is not sure. Ooh, FX comments. What a neat program. So we can add presets, save preset, link MIDI to program change. Yeah, this is especially for, like, in the case of what Jake has been doing for a couple of these projects, um, this MIDI routing, um, like, in full control channels and trying to interface as deep as possible. Um, most of the things, which is nice, uh, most of the record monitoring off, I imagine that that's useful. FX enabled, yeah. Real control MIDI is the effect that's on here. I'm sorry, what? No. Oh, well, there's nothing to play. We need... Just give me, like, a mono mate. That's badass. Okay. X86 bridge. That's dope. Um... What? What? This thing. Input MIDI from the MIDI lab. All channel. That's pretty badass. So, that works just fine. We've made it. Um, so I have here. That's not racist. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. So, um, yes, you don't even have a MIDI controller. Um, do you know, is there a way to play a virtual MIDI keyboard? There is. Yes, I see it. So we could do it this way, right? We have to change the input. Well, what I would do is just do all MIDI inputs. And so that might be one way to do it. Also, what is this? Arrow keys change octave. Um, and also, is there a way to type in play? Yes. So, Garion, you can actually use... This is actually like a uh, family tracker. Um, where you have the bottom row, so starting from Z, is like this low C. And you can work your way up. And actually, you can kind of see it on the keyboard here. 
So Z, S, D, right? So, Garen, if you're looking for something like that, you can actually play some pretty complex stuff, depending on, like, if you have a PS2 keyboard, there isn't really a limit on, in on input. Uh, USB will often have, like, a termination circuit. So if you have, like, the right combination of notes, if I want to play a chord... Oh, wait, that's not going to work with the synthesizer, because it's mono, mate! Mono, mate, is in mono! <laughs> so, let's fix that real quick. Um, I'm going to remove this guy. And I'm going to add another tweak bench, dude. Uh, do I have Peach? Peach, Peach, Peach. Or Triforce. I do have Peach. Awesome. So Peach is a, also a wavetable synthesizer that uses uh, wavetables from video games. So here's like the... Whoa. I'm sorry. I have to fix my... got to fix my inputs. Oh, also, this doesn't respond. Like, the MIDI keyboard doesn't do anything unless you have focus on it. So you can still do things um, that maybe you already have for keyboard shortcuts. I haven't really started to dig into that. Hey, Goober Dan, the Luber man. Tamaki, que pasa? All right. So when I have virtual MIDI keyboard enabled, we can totally rock that. I want more volume. I want more. Prepare to have your ears blasted. Yeah. Oh, it's so soulful. The delay is killing the crap out of me, though. But hey, whatever. So that actually is like a huge step forward into being able to really produce something using Reaper. Uh, and that same thing using MIDI. Yeah. Gangster. It's done. It's done. We made it. So we have a virtual MIDI keyboard for those of you who do not have a MIDI controller yet. And I want to work on a way for us to be able to supply hardware for people who really need it. Um, some way. We just open up like a college or something. No. Anyway. Um. So that is uh, dope. I know you guys like these these chip type sounds, so I, I have to focus specifically on Peach and other tweak bench stuff because it's very very good. Oh man. Does my pitch and mod work? Excellent! That's what I like to, I, I really miss these plugins, you guys. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. Um, but yeah, you got it. If you're ready, you're cool. Let's talk about maybe the next couple of steps. We have a lot of options for tone. Maybe we don't have a lot of options for drums, so I'm gonna need another track anyway. But it seems like if I'm just armed and ready, I can do that. I'm gonna, the weird thing, I guess, for me, when I would normally work with, uh, like, live, is that you need to go through this FX kind of interface in order to see what that VST is doing. Let's get something... Yeah. Gangster. I don't want to get too sucked into that because I'll be here all day. And we only have, what, like 20 seconds before the challenge? More like 20 minutes. Okay, that's fine. So we have one sound. That's neat. This has a couple of options if you guys have questions. Um, Nightbot has arrived. What? The party Nightbot? Oh, that's right. <laughs> The verified moderator nightbot taking over your channel all the time. So I can close that out. I think I can pin this down. Is that what that does? Sweet. So now when I 
take focus away. No, it doesn't do what I expect it to do. That's fair. Let's uh, insert a new track and do the same type of thing. Because I want to get... I disable this arm. Good. All right, so I can arm this guy. And I have another synthesizer. Uh, I guess I could just do all MIDI channels. Because we can plug in multiple devices. Oh, and see, once you have that armed, you can see the note on off events. Okay. That's very important. So we'll go back to the FX window. We don't have any effects on track two. And I want to add to it uh, maybe something else. Like, I don't know what they have in terms of, like, drum stuff. I suppose you can just kind of search. Drum, you don't have drum. Lucky for me, I have a... I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys... Get all of the tweak bench stuff. Like, just go donate, like, 50 cents if you can to, um, I can't remember the name of the developer, Steve something. Just get it. Because this stuff is just a shortcut into a lot of great um, sounds, including this tweak bench toad, which is a sample set that has a bunch of Nintendo sounds in it. So, let's get that hot and ready. Volumes all the way up. I think that I'm actually am missing something here. Input MIDI, all MIDI ports, all channels, good. And then I want to change. There's a MIDI. They had like a MIDI thing uh, that they used at the top um, of that chain, which kind of weirds me out. Yeah, this thing, VST Real Control MIDI. And can I rearrange these? Excellent. Like, is that necessary? Probably not. Also, I should be aware of my range. Because this maps MIDI across... Uh, it's my note signal, my velocity level at the bottom. Trim MIDI all channels. You set the arm. Input. Oh, maybe I messed it up. So let's get uh, this guy. And then let's add TV underscore toad. You're getting events, but you're not making any noise. Why? They're like, sorry, this version only allows you to record one mini thing at a time. Uh, we have to actually get to... Reaper is not free! <laughs> Reaper says it's free. Uh, Reaper is kind of free? I don't know. What other devices are there in Reaper? What can I do to get away with making other noises? Do they have, like, a sampler? Can we, like, get a little bit crazy? And also, why is this routing all kinds of weird? Like, that does not seem like... Can I delete this track? Just remove. Let's arm you. Try it. Yeah! Reaper is not free. Go donate to the Reaper Foundation and get reaped. Reap the benefits of. Ah. Uh, Alright. So now MIDI is going to both things. I see, I see. Awesome. Sweet. So here's Toad. I just disable the arm on that track. So Toad. Makes a bunch of noises. Um, it's a really, really neat little sample based synthesizer. Everything in the tweak bench suite has uh, the spit crushers, the sample reduction. So it sounds like it's also speeding it up, or only playing a few of them. Yes, that's right, we're totally using Toad. Let's figure out where that starts. 
Looks like C is zero. A little bit metallic. Oh, that's totally a good. Doesn't really respond to velocity, but. All right, let's try sequencing a bit, because I need some mini clips. Um, now, is it possible to, what is create a region from selection? Oh, I see. So we can actually mark different regions and jump between them in time. That's convenient. Um, can I, I think maybe instead of creating like, oh, let's see. Here's a metronome button. That's useful. Um, if I hit that. Sweet. If I hit R, will it record? No, R is the looping mechanism. So during that region, we can do that. That's also this button down here. This little flish, flashing green dude. Yo, what if you use Mega Man sounds with Nintendo sounds, put it in a fast-paced, last-minute, gotta-go song? That's a great idea. Atomic, you should be downloading... You should, you should have downloaded this whole, this whole DAW right now. I want to hear it. Um, we can save our project. Let's do that. Documents, Reaper Media. Uh, let's learn. Let's learn Reaper. Reamer, sorry. Uh, and this will be a little help 100 because it's totally not what it is. This is 100 episodes of a little help. You made it, guys. Oh, my God. I couldn't have done it without you. All right. Um, That's really like more of a snare noise, isn't it? Yeah. What else you got? That's pretty good. Sweet. Thank you. One hundred! That's right. Tomaki, you understand. I really want to make, like, I really want to, I really want a piano roll, right? I really want to, like, take this region, and I want to insert some kind of, let's see, marker, tempo, remove marker, set project tempo, measure. So we can do things like change our tempo, and we can do program changes in real time. This thing can probably play back GM as well. Um, the new file... Open project, project settings. What if I didn't do track? This looks like the same thing. So can I insert a MIDI item? There we go. So ideally, you double click on it, boom. You have what's often called a piano roll. Um, this is seriously like Cubase. This is like kind of satisfyingly like Cubase. Ain't gonna lie, I'm a fan. Um, now, can I record into this region in the same way? Um, I don't know what record is mapped to. Control R. Convenience, I suppose. Notice how I can't overdub MIDI, which is something that I'll use often um, in other... Yeah, uh, let's... I guess I can get rid of the secondary recordings. Delete selected. Okay. And so the one, the first pass that I took was there. And that's kind of neat. It does give you an option for, um, <laughs> it does give you an option for doing multiple takes if you do have a tracked out section. Um, and I'm not opposed to that. Not to mention editing the MIDI itself, right? So I have here the same scale. Oh, I can scroll, zoom in and out. I actually want to zoom in and out of this region over here, because this is a bit high, I think. I'm looking for my notes. They're not showing up. And there's this kind of complex and tiny region down here with which I can view more and more of the area. Though it would appear that I do not actually have the same notes inside of here as I do there. Oh, interesting. All right, right. There's like this bottom looking thing. Whoa! 
That is weird. I wonder what that's about. Well, I guess because it's MIDI, you can have multiple channels on the same layer. So if I have, like, you can have 16 channels of note information on one track. Yeah, I, I imagine that makes the most sense. Down here, you can see um, the parameters for each note. Um, the beginning of a block is called a note on event. By default, we have, um, like, the ability to preview the sound. Like, that's an option that you generally have to enable. I think if I left click, I can preview it, double click to make a note, um, double click to delete the note, I can insert notes at mouse cursor. Um, that's interesting. So that's a one click edit, no? All right, neat. Um, I think I might, for this kind of thing, oh, I can hold alt to erase notes. What the? F trying to find like the, I guess I could just press delete, right? Sweet. Let's find, now that I've edited not all that stuff out, can I get rid of this track? Apply, la 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 la. Like, why are there two tracks? What a weird thing. Oh, I see, it's recorded MIDI and placed MIDI. How weird. So I actually would have to open up another editor to look at this other file. So there's a new MIDI item, right? And then there's a recorded MIDI item, and they kind of live in the same space, right? And I bet you can probably record more. It's an interesting option, but I can definitely see that as a thing that becomes confusing. And so for the sake of eliminating confusion, let's see if I can remove the recorded MIDI item. Um, or delete, yes? So I can cut the item, I can remove item, boom. All right, let's do that again. So I'm gonna create a MIDI item. Um, let's see, do, 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 do. and I can't, I'm surprised that I can't do it from this menu. Create region, tempo, remove selection. I don't know, you tell me. So we did actually have that here though. Insert, uh, new MIDI item. And here we only have the one track. So now we can actually go through the piano roll. That MIDI is still going to preview through here, um, which works for me. I hope it works for you. Um, I wish I could scale up the piano on the left. Oh, I can change the actual position of this thing. That's very cool. That's very discreet. Um, this also isn't going out to the length that I want, so maybe I want to change the length of that to two bars. I can change the length of this region to two bars. But I don't think that that'll actually work in terms of like, I want this region to loop. It'll only do that in the selected region. But we can do it at real time. Or, seems to reset. Here we have two bars. Yeah, this is like disturbingly like Cubase. So I can scroll in and out. Is that resolution? If I shift or control, there we go. Now I can scale up my node input. And this is actually, ah, I'm so sold. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm so sold. Um, and I could probably also scroll left or right. So I'm holding Alt and using the scroll wheel to go through time. I'm holding sh Control to zoom into the note input. And just regular scroll wheel kind of does this wacky version of scaling the time this way, right? Um, so this is running. I'm going to find a good note here. All right, this is where it starts. All right, so I'll get this guy in there. So what's weird to me is also how accurate that is. Um, and also this looping region. Like, what the? F get out of here. But that allows us to extend the length of this clip. And I imagine that'll also change it here. So this, like, little divot, you know, it's kind of like GarageBand. Like, that'll be the point where our clip repeats. What I find interesting, um, however, is being able to position these against the grid. Yeah. Because I want to just click that right in. Oh, and I see the marker is also moving with it. that triplet feel. 
do 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 sweet um yeah in a minute it is 501 let me know if you guys are ready if you want to contribute a track um if you have any questions i mean please let me know and you know otherwise we're about you know we're in the warning zone for we're about to kind of do like a quick run uh make a track in an hour type of thing i don't really know what the heck i'm doing with reefer obviously like for example i want to adjust the midi of each of these notes so i don't think this synthesizer responds to that i feel like if i hold oh if i hold control i can like duplicate notes Got that on a two and four. Good, good. Hey, if you're just joining us, this is a little help. Start practicing with the metronome. I don't know um, in terms of like how timing you know will affect what you have going on. I can go unarm this. MIDI will still be playing. I can arm this. I can use my keyboard. But I have to compensate for that delay. But we can try recording out of it and see what happens, right? So. Right, and so when I stop, it's like, ah, oh, crap, well, I don't want that one, and I don't want that one. Can I select? these yes delete selected on punch out so now i have recorded midi and the cool news i guess is oh well it's you know you might have seen jake do this a million times is oh my timing is just off so i need to hold control wait one of these things oh right click that's weird right click the box select that's uncommon but i do want this to be a bit yeah. I want that note. Like, I just want that single note. And then can I use the arrow keys to... No, arrow keys to zoom. I just want to drag it around. Oh, and that's weird. It also continues that note on event. Like, normally I wouldn't expect that. So can I delete you and drag you? It also appears that these notes have, like, really specific regions. Uh, I, how do I edit? If I hold, so it's like Ableton. If I hold Alt or something like it, I can actually get pretty close. And then this is a little bit of leading. automation on top of that. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Interesting. Um, I'm sure there is some sort of overdub recording action. Um, but yeah, you got to right click to box. Remember that. Um, okay, so that is, I guess, my most brief introduction to Reaper. Um, in the interest of fairness, um, if you feel somewhat armed and ready, we're going to do a 45-minute run, I suppose. I want to make sure we have time at the end to listen to tracks and submit them, um, which means it is 5.06 Pacific right now, maybe 5.50. We're going to reconvene, and I'm going to sit here on stream and make something from, from nothing. So let's do that. I have a new project, Control-N, to make a new project. Couldn't you save all the takes and then place them in a row? 
possibly this is a thing that we can figure out together let me know what you come up with 506 yes 506 right now so um at a uh, quarter till wait at at 10 till so at 550 um send me a link in chat or send mint potion a uh, whisper and let's figure out uh some dope stuff see what you can see what we can do in an hour i'm not going to go Super crazy, because I have no idea what I'm doing with this program. All right. See you soon. Also, if you're in Discord, I'm watching you. I'll even leave my mic on so you can hear me whine about why this isn't doing what I want it to do. Get these plugins, they're amazing. Um, I want to turn this off for now. A new track. The virtual instrument. Uh, I want. What does this guy do? They've got like randomized buttons if you're like not into patching. I like to just throw it a few times. That's this guy, right? Uh, on the side. Yeah, so I have that kind of thing going. Starting at one. Is there a way to quickly quantize this stuff? MIDI is a little bit low, but everywhere. So that's good. Tracking my input and all that. Um, can I perhaps do something like edit? Uh, quantize, Q. I want everything to be on the grid. Quantize the selected note pretty much the same way. Commit. Okay. Do it. You didn't do it. You're failing me. I can play from here. It's just a little too early. That's <laughs> That's so annoying.
And then somebody, I think Garion says Tyrell N6 has some drum sounding presets. Let's do that. Uh, let's do a new virtual MIDI instrument track. Uh, string thing too. I want the first one. Are there presets for this thing? Yes, there are. Uh... Okay, no no lie. Having a MIDI controller totally helps. Just just a thing. Two, three, four. Prompt to save. I just don't prompt to save. Let's just save all. Maybe that'll help me get through this a little bit faster. Cool. And then let's make this section loopable. So I guess can I scroll in a similar way as I do the other interface? Ah, oh, that's not good. There's probably a shortcut for that somewhere. Uh, can you tell me at least the length of this region? 2 to 10 is 8 bars. So I can set this to loop. <laughs> I really like this uh, plugin. Like, this theremin thing is just stupid. It's too powerful! I think it might be too powerful. We're gonna have to remove that VST. And I just, I want something that has. Like, I don't wanna build a, a drum that's gonna take forever. So maybe you don't have drums at all. What is this? effects after that. Does it have 
have modern chorus. Real vocoder, oscilloscope, compressor, delay. What is Ninjam? I don't know. What is this? Oh, it has something to do with samples? And there's a chat in it? What the f- No idea. So let's remove that. And I don't like you either. I don't like you either. Let's see if we get into the groove. What is this? Real sin drums. You would assume. Good. Oh my gosh, I can't tell what this thing is doing. But we're starting to get somewhere. I think anything that's called DR. Christmas drone. Do you know that Dogan's playing Rocket League right now? I learned this today. I saw you. Editable? I guess not. Alright, then let's get this guy bouncing and speed it up. Actually, want a uh, replace with a step editor. Oh, that's cool that you can stack, like, it's a basically like an instrument effect track. That's pretty great. Give me something weird. Wait. recording. Yes. from here. Uh, control R.
and we're gonna work backwards because now I have a line that I can play with the other part. Um, so starting from here, um, it's gotta be a shortcut for arming, but hey, there's mouse. But there's mouse. All right. So I'll go from here. Control R. all this stop stop right there i ask ah so check that out it actually adds another track to it interesting so what's going on here dun, dun, dun. is it faster to just do it again these are questions i ask myself every day of my life So, um, um. Okay. So memorizing that, that's going to be fun. So much fun, in fact, that I think I've done it. What's really interesting is this drone, right, that's holding it down. I want something that's like whole base that... Here, chord. Pretty clean, all things considered. Um, how are we doing on time? You guys, if you're part of this thing, we're about halfway through our time that we have left for a little help. We are going to be, ex we are expecting uh, Dog Tracks and ADD to come on soon after this. Um, but I definitely want to make sure we have time to render. And I haven't even gone over rendering, so I'm going to have to cut my time short. But it is only uh, half past, roughly. So about 20 minutes remain if you are participating. I can't wait to hear your track. Make sure that you send it to us one way or another. I'll be like, hey, I want to hear that. Got people in the studio. We got Cameron. Got Robbie. I hear is into it right now. Um, let's, make it, let's just make more instruments, more tracks. And then, oh, let's start to mess with uh, who's Wilson. I don't know. Pan flute. Does this thing, I really, I'm inspired. I have to, uh, no. Like. Hmm. Got like, four drum sounds. It's actually not bad. Um, it's not 
super great either. Let's remove that. Let's add something else. There's got to be something. I might. I don't want to. Ooh, I'll shut up. What are DX and DXIs? Different type of plugin. Auto looper, auto expander, mojo, bit reduction, delay, mixer, distortion, flanger, spectrum analyzer, oh yes, is a graphical wave shaper, MIDI examiner, arpeggiator, velocity variation generator. This is a very, as they say, a robust set of audio tools. Stereo enhancement. We will add maybe one of these to our master as we try to get in for the what is called the you know the rendering. I give myself maybe ten more seconds on this track. You think? I think. Um, what else do I have? Pitch ruin comp, reacts, mashup, suppressor, small presser, vacuumer. All of that stuff is actually really good. Uh, the modern utilities. I like it a lot. What you are hearing is the sound of uh, our Discord server. If you're not hanging out with us there, I don't know who you are. Arcdev Dubbox. I don't know. Be awesome. Oh crap! I know what this is. Okay, so this is a delay, which is neat. But I need audio to go through it. Um. So I think maybe uh, Epic VSDI, I look for uh, anything really. Christmas drone. I really wish I could use like a uh, sunbox as an external um, thing. Oh, let's get out synth one. That's a classic. All right, guys, we're get, we're get, we're we're pulling out the guns. <laughs> Here's this guy, right? Let's take this. Brigade underscore. That's a nice synth bass. Also, we're arming this as well, which is like not maybe necessary. Sweet. Go, 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 go. Um, where's my metronome is on? Two, three, four. So that's behaving more like I expected it to. That means I can probably right click a region here. What if I just want like all of you guys out? Cool. And then I can change the length of that clip. Awesome. Awesome. What I'm looking at here, this, I like. I like that. Ver that's very good. Bro, that is very good. So let's like listen for a second because I'm just throwing notes down all willy nilly. Maybe get into mixing a bit.
there's some kind of growing sense of responsibility right here. And what is ringing still? Oh, it's this guy. I'm not using that plugin, am I? Plugin, am I? That's not good. Oh, it's using a drone. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna do that. Okay, a drone's gonna like you know drone. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes drones they're just drone. Most of the time drones suck. So on my master, definitely want a limiter, um, for obvious reasons. Uh, limit, Sintar. No, I want a VST. Modern limiter, awesome, cool. How gangster is that? Um, and I want also before that, I want a compression or some kind of EQ. I think modern has like an expander. Uh, Black Dragon Compressor Console EQ. Hey, I like you. Uh, and then I want one more. Um, do 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 do. Do I want an exciter instead of using a regular compressor? I didn't even install that other thing. How much time do I have? Only ten minutes have passed since I last checked. We're fine. We're fine. Um, this thing has basically a few default presets. We're going to do a bus preset, so it'll... Good. And then for you, limiter, just come after. Um, I can change the preset. Really, I mean... It should be linked. Alright, and then I'm actually getting a pretty weird... That's kind of the thing I'm jumping at. I'm jumping the gun quite a bit on this. But I'm really happy that all this crap works. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised, don't get me wrong, but... Maybe I could do something with this patch. So, this section... So, maybe. Right. So let's just, like, kind of punch that in. Nope, right now. Uh, chord. And then boom, 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 boom. Which is gonna be lower. Right. Audiation, important. Uh, I still have to edit this MIDI. And I guess that's where, if I'm doing an active review of this tool, that I kind of am seeing other places that are a little bit more pricey maybe do that better. Um, because it's difficult to get kind of where I want to be. Alright. One, two, three, four, and... Undo. So... So that kind of worked. Not great. Mm, whatever. Um, in Zen, I maybe you'll do one more thing. It is 5:37. If you are interested in uploading, consider rendering. 
I'm gonna try doing a little bit of mixing, even though I have kind of a garbage truck. But I love it because I have at least something, right? You made a thing today. You win. Can I go to the beginning? Like if I hit S? I don't know what I just did. I guess I'll hit stop. No. Hit go to the beginning. Why cannot they hear uh, my other tracks, huh? Are you perhaps too low? <laughs> I think that I can jump around like that. understand my music at all. You know what I'm saying? to take this whole region and duplicate that. Copy and paste it. To end my song. I'm running out of time. I gotta move. There's no time. I gotta do it. What the hell is that? <laughs> okay. I should have known. Step back a couple of steps. Okay. You. I want you. I want you. I want you, I want you, I want to maybe press alt, what the, that's cool, um, I like this, I like, in terms of arranging MIDI, I think that is pretty dope, like, I recommend that highly, have you, have you uploaded a track, Are you done, no. what's up, wait, what am I doing, I don't know, are you in the yeah, dude, where are you, Third. you have 10 minutes, <laughs> <laughs> if, ten, if you're just joining us, this is a little help. My name's Ben. You have 10 minutes to make a track. I want to hear it. Upload it. We're going to talk about Reaper. All this kind of crap. Jake, what's going on, dude? Hey. <laughs> Jake, you went. Okay. Sweet. Uh, this is a little help. Take two. Uh, one hour. Um. We are running hot out of time, so I want to figure out how to maximize um, this track. Do a little bit of light mastering nonsense. Jake just walked in, which is cool. He's an alright guy. I like him. I can. Oh, initial sound or initial sound. Hmm. Uh, I just want. Right here. 
and I could just set that to play from there. That's cool. I don't hate it. Uh huh. And then maybe the next note is like a little bit more subdued, right? So I'm holding uh, this one. I want to press Alt. Don't do it. Don't do it. What the hell? Windows key. There we go. I selected the note. I also like being able to kind of nudge notes, that's pretty cool. That's pretty. Alright, so you have five minutes to make a track. I'm going to get ahead of the game here and figure out how to render this ridiculousness. Um, I guess I need something to end on though. You know, because that's like, you know, it's got a beginning, it's got a middle, it's got a beginning, and it's an end. <laughs> right. So, maybe like some kind of huge... Perfect. Just like a... Like, I don't know, I made a track in Reaper. Track in Reaper. Which is super capable. You know, as I kind of wander into the review zone. Um, let me just kind of put a note down here. My metronome on. So I can tell where one is. testing out a new technique that's called recording the pitch bend because I don't know the rest that's going on it's got to be record armed I don't know what sound are you oh it's the bell so yeah let's do something stupid like that so we can re record there again. <laughs> Maybe they're not that last note though. So again, I can double click. I can either right click and delete the note, which is totally the way to go, or I can change the length of the MIDI clip here, which is amazing. Um, next track, let's, you know, we only have four parts for it. Something like that. Go back to here, hit record. Three. Dope. And finally, something here. Padawan, our awkward pad synth. That is super good. Um, a little bit high. Perfect. Record that. Beautiful. All right, now, how the f do I get this out of this program and somewhere where you can listen to it? Even though, like, I don't really have that problem, you can already hear what I'm doing. Um, 
but it's about that time. It is 5.47. You have precisely 3 minutes and 38 seconds. Um, wait, 2 minutes and 38 seconds. I'm sorry. Um, I guess render. That would work. Render. It's like, what do you want to render? Oh, crap. I have all of these damn options. Source. Bounds. Entire project. Good. Presets. Crazy. Wildcards. Directory. Desktop. No, 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 no. We're going to actually ugh, send that somewhere else. Uh, probably the desktop, actually. Oh, yeah, damn. Man, you got me. Um, let's see. Resample mode, if needed. Time for a search. 441. Wave bit depths. Uh, we can do 16. I don't need to take up all that space this week. Um, full speed offline render one file. Um, add rendered items, new tracks to project, save copy of project out file as a RPP. I don't know what that is because I just opened Reaper today. So we're going to render one file. There it goes. It's running. It's rendering. It's on its way out. The waveform looks good. We are out. Close. Show me an explorer. Wow, they think of so many things. Let's open you in Audacity. And as a matter of fact, um, look, I have a link from Garion right on time. I'm going to go grab that somehow. Oh, I see it's opened up over here. Download. Stop what you're doing. I guess I don't have to download it, but I can. I know this guy. We've got Brian Dog Boy Burwell in the building. So I'm going to put this onto my desktop as well. Um, ladies and gentlemen, time is close to now. Matter of fact, you have about a minute. So start rendering. You're done. You're done, son. I know we had less than an hour, but we also learned Reaper in less than an hour, or at least something like it. Um, there's some folder called WLW. I'm going to save that as an MP3. I'm going to open up VLC. I got two files right here. This is great. I use Audacity to compress the MP3. That is a good idea. We should have actually covered that because that's like a thing. <laughs> I have two files. Anybody else, if you're listening, Ravi, I hear you in the building. Somebody else in the building. I got some garage tracks to, to do. Actually, I don't know what Gary and made. It's probably not garbage. Uh, I got, we got to text. We got to text Brian's wife. Yeah. If you have Brian's wife's phone number, just let her know. Um. <laughs> Um, so tell her, uh, there's no hot chicks here. There's no hot chicks here. Ever. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Where are your files at? Come on. Oh my gosh. You flirt. Um, okay. I had so many takes to get chords, but you're playing on keyboard. Uh, do I have, do I have tracks from any of you? Put it on. Put it on crate. Put it on crate. Uh, can you tell Ravi? I'm so orange. Just put it on like crate. I'll I'll organize it later. Yeah, definitely playing a lot of live takes to get chords. I would have been a little bit more uh, concerned, I guess, with timing if I wasn't so overwhelmed by the newness of this program. But hey, it's all good. I'm waiting. We have a bunch of stuff. This is our network access storage. Uh, let's open up VLC, like America's internet or whatever, like the internet people. Let's put it on crate. I can't wait for you, Ravi. <laughs> can't. God, we have stuff to do. We have dog tracks. I think we have dog track. Yeah. You? Uh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> I think so. I think we have we have competitors. I just want to clean my moves. Yeah. Is there anybody else in chat? Anybody on Discord? I don't know who the heck is watching. I just work here. Um. That maybe has music. Ravi is put is he putting it on crate? Uh, on crate just put it on the root of crate and I'll pick it up. Or on mint potion, I guess. Uh same thing with you, Cameron. Thank you. 
I'm waiting. I'm waiting for files. Robbie's like, I just, I want to make clapping noises. I want, I want everyone to clap to this. Worst first Reaper project. The metadata. It's the best though. Gary, and I'm so glad that you're here and hanging. It's been a while. But you know, video games will do that to a man, you know? Video games will put you yeah, in, put in the dark. Yeah, let's put it on Crate Mint Potion so that I can grab it. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. What? Whatever. They were the same thing. SMB, uh, yeah, SMB, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it on the server. Good. That's okay. Yep. What is this 15 minute track project? Is this you? That's it. You copied the Ableton project over, dog? <laughs> yes, I, I can't, I don't have Ableton on this computer. You gotta render it. It's okay, you got time. Burnout is real. I'm actually really, really glad that you did, like, a wind potion. I'm not quite sure I... Is that, like, a wind potion? Like, the kind of thing that makes you sort of, like, recoil and cringe a little bit? Like... Oh, okay, yeah. yeah I feel you, man. I, especially, something about social media is just depressing. Um, especially in, like, large doses, right? You what? You rendered it? You're good? Or is it in the same spot? Could you have beat Robbie to the punch? I got it. 15 minute track. All right. Put it on crate, mint potion, and I'll put it on the thingu, and then we can, we can all wear man bras together. That's cool. Apparently it's 17 seconds long. Wind potion should be like the drill account quips. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So it's stream stream transcripts that are recontextualized for pectoral greatness. I'm sorry, I can't I can't stop looking at my own boobs today. It's weird. Um, gosh, come on, Robbie. He's like he's like hold on. I gotta I gotta run it through the, my knee real quick. Like, dude, shut up and give me your track. Like. <laughs> Robbie might be might be the guy. I don't know. Dude, did you put it on crate or what? Uh, is it called? I mean, me too. <laughs> ah, yes, the seminal classic "Fuck You All" by Robbie Robert D. Um, so here we have all of these tracks. I'm gonna actually copy those out as well, and I'll put them. She's this guy is a royal champion, so I'm gonna organize these in a second. But I've got four tracks in, which is pretty darn good. Gary, and come back quick so I can actually like play these tracks since you're here to participate. Don't shy away from a great moment. Uh, I guess hashtag Angry Crow is a thing. We need to really work on our hashtag game, yo. That's like, I don't know. Um, I guess while I'm here, I'll sort out projects. Uh, do I have, like, shows? A little help. Okay. Cooking show. I want my own folder. I want... I don't know. Two weeks? A week. Uh, one. Actually, have I actually have this in a folder somewhere? This is a thing. It's not a magfest. It's not a whatever. I think this is a new folder. I'm gonna make a week three or a week two because I know that we did this before. All right, and then I actually have projects. Maybe it's in here. What the? That's not what I want. Fun. Uh, 
Let me know when you're back. Let me know when you're ready. The vault. What's in the vault? Robert D E E. Is it in music team maybe? <laughs> wow. Okay, we're good to go. It is time to review the tracks. Gary and at least is here, and I want to make sure that we play that. And I think the stream is still live, and we're going to go right into dog tracks after this. Um, if I could say anything about Reaper very quickly, is it is pretty cool. It's a little bit like thin feeling, but it does everything that you need it to do. Here's the track that I made in an hour, and we have some tracks made by other people in the building in an hour, including Gary, who's out there on the internet in an hour. And we're gonna kind of, you know, get get to that. Stream is totally live. Oh yeah. Me. I couldn't find a drum. I couldn't for the life of me find a drum. So I was just like I imagine if they had like a sampler thing or something, I would really like to, you know, like put drums into it and like slice it up and play that. But like, I'm so used to another workflow that it's. Now we have First Worst Reaper by Garion. Look at the album art. Uh. You did what I couldn't do. It cannot open this track. Hold on, hold on. What? Oh, it's because I moved the location of this track. Because I'm a fool. So let's start with, you know. <laughs> this is uh, Cameron. I think Robbie though. Ooh, like progression. Yeah, I love automatic album art too. <laughs> Been playing a lot of Puyo Puyo, etc. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, that was the jam. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on a little help. We did cover a little bit of Reaper. I think I want to keep getting into it because it is a pretty, um, it's an accessible tool. It's pretty easy to read. A couple of things to get used to. Dog tracks, dog boy, ADD dog is coming around. Yo, yo dog, thank you so much for joining me on a little help. And I will see you this time next week. I'm really feeling Tuesdays. All right.